is focus mostly on those projects or products which are like uh, technology powered. Uh, Scrum Master role is getting very popular or in fact it, it's there for almost like two decades. Uh, it's pretty important that uh, we must understand that as a Scrum Master, what are the key five you know, competencies we must have to thrive in this role. And the first competency I want to talk about is lean agile mindset. That is derived from those seven principles of for lean and manifesto of agile that was published back in 2001. This manifesto is based on four core values and 12 principles. As a scrum master, we must understand that uh, what, what, what's the meaning of those uh, four values and 12 principles and can we apply those values and principles in our settings or not. We must understand that uh, Agile Manifesto was published around two decades ago. Is it still applicable uh, in today's projects or products or we need to modify it. Secondly, we should have a good knowledge and skill in different Agile methods, for example, Scrum, Discipline Agile, Scaled Agile Framework, Extreme Programming, Spotify, etc. Uh, let's take an example of one of the method of framework. Uh, we call it Discipline Agile or DA Toolkit. Uh, it is powered by PMI. Uh, this toolkit helps you to choose a particular life cycle as per your need and it helps you to make decisions uh, with its process goals where there are like uh, more than 1700 agile practices are available to choose from or to help your team to choose from. So it's pretty important that we should have some understanding of uh, these agile methods. And then there comes third competency. And this competency is power skills. Power skills are next version of soft skills. It not only includes the soft skills, but many other skills such as creativity, innovation, leadership skills, etc. In agile world, when we talk about leadership, mostly we talk about servant leadership, how to serve our teams so that our teams can become empowered our team become self-organized. But there are many other ways of leadership that we can adopt in agile or lean world. One example of uh, those leadership model, models is host leadership. Host leadership is something that not only include servant leadership, but also helps you to join your team in the actual work. So we should have all those power skills to thrive as a scrum master. And then the fourth competency is business environment. We should have some understanding of the business environment in which we are operating. We should not only be focusing our team. We should be working in an enterprise aware manner. We should know that, okay, what other departments are thinking? What other teams are thinking? What are their mindsets? What are their constraints? For example, uh, as a team leader or scrum master, how to work with the portfolio team or how to work with the organizational uh, architecture teams. Uh, this thing is pretty important. Otherwise, what would happen if we will be focusing only on the team or only on the team goals, then we will become a team that is like uh, only focused uh, on it, more greedy team which is not thinking about other teams or overall outcomes that are required for the business agility. So understanding business environment and awareness of the enterprise environmental factor is key for a scrum master or team leader. And then the last competency, the fifth one is uh, as a team leader or scrum master, we should have good understanding of some technical practices. When I say technical practices, for example, in software world, we talk about peer programming or refactoring or test driven development or some other building uh, quality practices or nowadays the uh, DevOps, mm, they become a time proven uh, 
practices, a time proven approach that helps to bring development teams and operations team together. They help to break the silos between development and operation teams. So these are the five competencies that I believe are key for a scrum master to thrive in this digital world. Thanks a lot and looking forward for your comments. Bye.